Welcome to workout seven. We're all just a little bit afraid <laughs> for you and for ourselves. Let's talk about this real quick. I wanna throw in a caveat. This is extremely challenging. The key here is to modify whenever you need to. Try one or two the hard way, modify and continue through the 30 second interval. There is no way that I am sexist at all, but ladies, you're not gonna be as strong as the men. So if you go to the knees, go to the knees. There is no shame in that. I do these exercises on my knees. We're gonna begin with our warm up. Everybody set? Running man, here we go. Let's warm it up. Now, you really need your head in the game in the beginning of this one. You're gonna need laser beam focus to get through this workout. So let's start thinking about what we came to do here, what we're gonna achieve, what we're going after. Start breathing. Let's get that heart rate up. Let's heat up the body. How do we feel, everyone? Get excited. In three, two, one. And plant the feet, open it up, and circle it out for me. Now this is really important. Really open up those shoulders today because of course, we're doing those push muscles again. Chest, shoulders, tries, a lot of quad focus. So let's open up that upper body now. Swing a little faster. Give me everything you got. Breath going, really good. In three, two, jumping jacks. Take them all the way up, clap them out for me. Give me that range of motion. And on this one, guys, let's cut behind the back too. Let's go up, back, up, back, up, back. Really wanna get that shoulder stretched out. Stretch out those shoulders up and back behind you. Beautiful, everyone. Give me three, two, one. Plant those feet, cat, cow. Take it down. Pull it up, you know the drill. All the way down now, all the way up. And really open up the chest at the bottom. Head in the game, focused, matching the breath to the movement, thinking about where your body is at in time and space, rolling those shoulder blades up and out away from the spine at the top, pulling them in at the bottom. Last one here, down and up. Jump rope, let's jump it out. Keep those shoulders nice and loose. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck. Relax the space between your ears, let it all go. This is you time. Let's focus, let's make it count. So rare that we get time during the day to just focus on ourselves. Celebrate this time, make it work for you. 10 seconds, guys, breathe it out. Should be feeling warm in three, two, and one. Open it up, toe taps, take it over, down. Open, down, open. Good, big stretches, really open it up. You should be very familiar with this at this point. Have it down pat, you've heard me say it for many weeks now. Good job. Just 10 more seconds. We'll say three, two, and one. Okay, bow and arrow push-ups. We're coming down to the ground. And drop and go. Down, up, down, up. Form is critical here. So let's watch what Chris is doing. Chris, take it to the feet if you got more. So as he lowers, he keeps his elbow in to protect his shoulder, and then he pivots the straining arm, takes the hand out to the side. Inhaling down, exhaling up. Decrease the resistance by going onto the knees. Last one down, last one up, perfect. Hold it, everyone. Diamond push-ups. We're going under the belly button on this. Ready, drop. Elbows in and press. Drop it down, chest forward and press. To make it easier, you just go to the knees, drop and press, and if it's still too hard, take that diamond, put it right where your chest is at. Elbows are in nice and tight. Belly button is pulled into the spine. Inhale down, exhale, press. You get power by breathing through it. Give me one more right here, down and up. Now everyone stand, grab light weights. Light weights, and if it's too hard, you'll use no weights. 
Arms overhead, deep squats, static hold. Drop it and press it. If you feel like your shoulders are already on fire, then we do it with no weights, just like Jamie. Modification is parallel. And of course, more advanced, we're gonna drop all the way down. Nice range of motion, buddy. And at the top, squeeze that tailbone under. Nice tight contraction on that booty. Last one, guys. Drop the weights. Okay, back to the top of the circuit. Bow and arrow. Is everyone ready? And go. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Keep your spine straight. Use your abs to lift you up. I want those hands at your chest level, not in front of the shoulders. How we doing, everybody? Jason, you make this look easy, baby. You make this look easy. Give me last two. Give me one more. Beautiful. Now, diamond at the belly button. Take it in nice and tight. Let's go. Elbows in. Push it up. We're doing in. It. Oh, man, these are horrible. <laughs> these are just awful. Ugh. Stay in it. Ugh. Hold on to it. And if it gets harder, you can drop to the knees, which it is, but... And if you go to the knees, double time it if you can. If you're gonna go back to the feet, slow it down and push through till you can't do more. Last one right here. Yes, good job, everyone. Stand it up. Okay, deep squats again with that static contraction with the dumbbells. Let's drop and go all the way down. Drive it up through the heels, squeeze that booty. When you drop, make sure that you do not let your torso come forward. Keep your chest up, chin up, eyes on the screen. Watch us, we're gonna carry you all the way through this. Watch Kenta's range of motion. He sits down deep. Your form is so good. His spine is like an arrow shooting directly into the floor, my God. Last one, set him down. Now, squat jacks. Ready, let's jack it. Nice and low, burning those quads. But, I mean, gotta kill them so they can be reborn, yes? Into works of art, so to speak. So, sink it down, get that heart rate up, make it burn. Relax the shoulders, they're not working too hard. Nice, easy raises. Stay in it. Because after this, we got plank moguls in three, two, one. Down to the mat, in plank. You guys ready? Take it over, back, up straight, back, around, back, straight, back. Okay. Modification, significantly decreased range of motion. If your shoulders and your tries and your chest are killing you right now, you can pause, slow down the amount of reps you're doing, you will get stronger very quickly, so hang in there. Give me three, two, last one. Good, stand it back up. Sink it down, squat jacks, ready? Modification, go. So she's not as deep in the squat. The deeper you are, the harder it is. Look how low Kent is. He drops all the way down, gets those thighs parallel. You're so tall, you can't even get down there. Look at you, you're all the way down and you're as tall as I am right now. That's embarrassing. Beautiful, wonderful. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Plank moguls back down to the mat. Okay, everybody set. Deep breath, wrap it. Back, up, back, up, and watch it. How I wrap my feet all the way around to where they are literally connected with my hands. If I do a straight line from my hands to my feet, that's what they should hit on both sides. In the middle, straighten those legs. Use your belly button to pull up that booty to the sky. Way up, pull. Last one, wrap it around. And hold. Now, guys, hold your plank. Here we go, bird dog. Deep breath. Take it up. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Opposite arm, opposite leg. 
You should be super fatigued right now. So if you're feeling like you're wobbly, a trick, make sure that hand placement is directly underneath the shoulder. If it's out in front of you at all in any way, you will really wobble. Try to keep the hips parallel to the ground. One more. Now flip it over. Heel punchers. Perfection. Onto the back. Show them how it's done, baby. Come up and across, tapping the heel with the opposite hand. Rotating those hips, bringing the heels into the hand. So we got obliques, intercostals, upper abs, lower abs. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels so good. Aw, how we doing, Chris? Beautiful rotation. Last three, last two, last one. Fantastic. Okay, circuit two. We're doing a modification of a Jack LaLanne push-up. Watch us. Deep breath in, everybody slide it out and lower. Pull it back and press. Slide and lower, pull and press. These are real hard. You're gonna struggle with it. Let's talk about form. The modification is clearly gonna be on the knees. If you've got more, Chris, show me on the feet, please, babe. Okay, notice how Chris is keeping that elbow in. Pulling up with those abs. Inhaling down, big exhale press. Okay guys, last one here, beautiful. Now let's go into a down dog. Hip width apart with the feet, shoulder width apart with the hands, deep breath in, drop it, press it. Drop it, press it. Drop it, press it. This is a brutal superset. If it's too much for you, watch Jamie. She's gonna step each hand down and up, one at a time. And then try a few the hard way. That's right. And then go back to modifying. Last two, last one. Gorgeous. Okay, everyone stand up with one dumbbell for me. We're going into a static dragon pose. So you bring the thighs together, sink down, torso completely perpendicular, deep breath, and push. Push. Elbows are out. Squeeze that dumbbell in the hand so we get a nice isometric contraction on the chest. Look at Jason's chest right here. See all these striations? You can tell he's contracting those muscles just by pressing this weight in and out. And remember, elbows out because when you bring them in, it's predominantly lats. The lower we go, the more it's gonna hurt. Feel that? You're welcome. In three, two, and one. Set them down. All right. Back to your little lane push-ups. Here we go, hit the ground. Start out in a plank position with the hands. Deep breath, slide one hand out, pull it back up. One hand out, pull it back up. And you might have to drag that arm. If you're at home and your hands are sticking to the floor, grab a towel and use that to slide. In future workouts, it'll make it a little bit easier. Last two, and last one. Excellent, we go into pike, pop right up into it, guys. Deep breath, exhale, and straighten. And down. Take a look at where Chris's hands are. When he comes up, they are literally shoulder width apart, feet are hip width apart, he drops and presses. Really digging into those triceps, anterior delts. Stay with it. Look at this body, look at this body, look at this body. This is why you're doing this right now. This is what you're fighting for. I need two more, mama. Yes, Two more, perfect. I got it. One Woo! more, one more. I got it. Amazing. Woo! All right, now everyone stand up. We got dragon, other side. So opposite leg turns out. You're gonna slide the knee behind and sink down with the dumbbell. Press it out. Now, of course, the modification is gonna be no dumbbell. No dumbbell. A little higher. The lower you go, the more it's gonna burn. If you can. Pull those inner thighs together. Squeeze them nice and tight. And get that back knee about three inches from the ground. Carolyn's all the way down there. Look at this form. Sick and disgusting. On the ball of her back foot, she's pulling those inner thighs in and she's got that knee locked in and under the calf. I don't know how you do it, girl. Stay with it, feels so good. Last one right here. Set them down. Now, side kicks. Here's your break. Enjoy it. Deep breath in, everyone set. Let's take it over and punch. Out, punch. 
This is the break for chest, shoulders, tries. Think about cardio right now. That's all we're doing is jacking up that heart rate while we let the muscles, we're working, rest. This workout is unbelievably challenging. There is no part of this workout that should feel easy or breezy in any way. Three, two, last one. Everyone in plank for me, knee tucks. Just remember, the harder you work, the more it's gonna pay off. Is everybody set? Yes. Deep breath and jump it in and out. So we've got knee tuck jumps in plank. We're hopping those knees into the chest, using the abs, Chrissy's belly button up to the sky. Perfect form of the upper body. Arms are locked, hands are directly under the shoulders. If you have more, float it. My God, that's beautiful. Pop it right up into crow pose and back. I don't know how you do that, especially at this point in the workout. But if you can do it, God bless you. Last two, last one. Beautiful, guys. Here's our break for the upper body. Stand it up, side kicks, opposite side. Let's take it through the wall. Three, two, one. Punch. Let me see that fire on that kick. Hip pivots and heel shoots. You're gonna pivot that hip over and fire that heel. Dig through the pain right now. This quad's gotta be shaking. Stick with it, heart rate is up. Only one more interval after this. We're going to those plank tucks. And at that point, we just have active recovery and you're at the halfway mark. Last kick. Good, everyone, in plank. Okay, feet hip width apart, hands under the shoulders. Jump it. And the key here is to jump up as opposed to forward. You're still pushing away so that when you jump those knees in, you don't topple forward, so there's still resistance in the move, but it's all core. Float it for me, Kenta, float it. Float it. Yes! One more. And back. Excellent, babe. Okay, stay where you are, stay where you are. Don't even think about going away. Side plank, reach throughs, abs. We're in our plank. We're gonna float up into the side plank and come under, reach through. If for some reason you're superwoman or superman and you have more, which would be unbelievably shocking to me, you can always do this. Ta-da! We can always up the ante. There's always an up button. You stick with this and the sky will be the limit. Last one, guys, and flip it to the other side. Okay, take it over. Watch Chris, he just swings his body right around, pops into his plank. Everybody rotate side plank. Big inhale and take it under and across. Good. Okay, whenever you need to modify, we can decrease the resistance by doing what we call shortening the lever. So the lever is now from her knee to her hip instead of her foot to her hip. This will make it easier. Thank you, Jill. Okay, in three, two, and on one, land in your plank. Okay, up dog push-ups. Let's show them how it's done. Drop into chaturanga, press into up dog, back into chaturanga, and push. The idea here is that we're rolling up onto the tops of the feet, driving back through the shoulders, and lifting with the abs. Try one or two the hard way, and then modify by going onto the knees, up dog, onto the knees, chaturanga, and push up. Beautiful, guys. We've got one more. Slow lower, roll it up, press it back, pause, and lift. Gorgeous. Now, stand up. We've got sissy squat, side crow. Deep breath in. Sissy squat down to the ground on the balls of the feet. Plant the hands, float the hips, plant the feet, jump. On to the elbows, float it, and back. Very challenging. Beautiful. Okay, now, as it gets a little bit easier, give me a real big jump out of it, babe. One more right back down, and a real big jump. Last one. Fantastic. Now, very light dumbbells, please. We're gonna essentially let the shoulders rest, and the legs are gonna work now. Static lunge, 90 degree angle, and push. Push. So, you can simply modify by taking the weights out. The higher you go in this move, the easier it gets. And of course, 
The lower you go, the harder it gets. Look at this perfect angle. Top of the head, through the shoulder, through the hip, through the knee, to the ground, perfectly straight line. Sink it just an inch from the ground, look at that. In three, two, and one. Okay, back to our mat. Up dog push-ups, everybody. In position, plank pose, deep breath, slow lower chaturanga. Look at my chaturanga. My elbows are over my wrists. My chest is even with my upper arms. Do not drop down and do not allow the elbows to be back behind the wrists. Then from here, you'll press into up dog, roll back chaturanga and drive it up. Try a couple. If you can't do more than a couple, you go to the knees. This is it, guys. You're gonna finish strong right here. And come on up. Now, sissy squat side, crow to the opposite side. Everyone up. Here we go. Feet are hip width apart. Deep breath in, onto the balls of the feet. Plant the hands shoulder width apart and float it up. And from there, jump. If you have more, extend your lever. Thank you, and back down. So, remember, if you wanna make it a lot harder, you can pick up the pace. And a boy, bust them out, and knee tuck. Bust them out, knee tuck. Gorgeous, this is it. This is it, hold, hold, hold. Everyone back up with the weights. Stationary lunge, opposite leg. Here we go, elbows 90, drop it, and push it. Remember, the feet are still going to be hip width apart, even in your lunge. Do not drop those elbows below 90 degrees. Keep a constant contraction on that shoulder and push from there. Breathe through it, stay on it, hang in there. We're gonna go for 10 seconds, nine seconds, eight, push, seven, push, sink down deeper because you can. In three, up, two, up, one, up. Excellent, from here, drop those weights. Standing mountain climbers, go. You're literally thinking about crawling your little body, or maybe it's a big body in this particular instance, all the way up to the ceiling. Pull the air, dig in, reach for it, knees up, everything working, heart rate through the sky, right here, right now, you've come this far. You are gonna smash this thing, stay with us, dig in, for three, up, two, up, and one. Feet together, back to quad destruction. Sink it down, star jumps, deep breath. Up, up. So we have a nice little chair squat, explode out of it. If the jump is too much, just give me a kick out, baby. Kick one leg, there you go. Right there, if you're just dying and you need air, this will help, okay? For those of you that have more, fly. Fly, little bird. Fly away, get up there. Give me three, give me two, up. Give me one more, reach. There we go, back down. All right, standing mountain climbers, everyone in position. Knee up, arm up, go. You guys are over the halfway point. Fight for this, right now. Let's go, up, 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 up. This program is a good, to amazing program. This program is gonna make you the best you, the best version of you possible. And again, it's not about a perfect you, but it is about a best you. In three, two, one, feet together, star jumps, go! Remember, there's a big difference between perfection and your best. That's all I'm asking for. We're always a work in progress, but the key is that we are making progress. We're getting vulnerable. We're doing the work. You're putting yourself out there. Tell them. Let's go. Two more. Take it up. One more. Go. Fantastic. Okay, everyone, hit the ground. We're going into boat pose. Little V, knees up. Sit up tall. Punch it out. Everyone ready? Here we go. Across, 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 across. If you can do more, straighten the legs. Punch, 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 punch. Look at that form. Not even a tremble in that body. 50 years old. This is 50. Okay. Three, two, 
once. All right, next move. We're back up into bow, going into hollow, man. Take them up. Straight legs. Woo. Lower. And up. Your quads should be dying right now. Oh, man, these are ugly. When you go into that hollow, man, feet are a couple inches off the ground the entire time. Shoulder blades are off the ground the entire time. And you're just pulling those legs and arms up into your boat. Three more. Two more, rip it up. Ugh. Last one, pull. All right, guys, unbelievable. Come to the top of the mat. So we've got a single leg rock and roll squat with a hop. Ready? Slow lower. Roll back. Find the ground. Push, jump. Slow lower. Find the ground. Push, hop. What we're doing here is utilizing your momentum to swing you forward and drive it up off of that one leg to condition you for a pistol squat. This will be your last rep, everybody. Show them. Down. And push. Beautiful, guys. Hold. Now turn it around. Inchworms on the left leg. Single leg squat, everybody. Down to the ground. Walk it out. Lock that plank. Walk it back. Bend the knee. Plant the foot and jump it. Catch. So the hop's too much and you feel like you're wobbling, take it out and just stand up. I want you to make sure, though, that before you stand or before you hop, that booty is all the way down below your chest. So you walk it out, burn out the quad. This is it, by the way, guys. Down, drive it. Beautiful. Hold. In push-up position now. Everybody hit the ground. We've got scorpion push-up to grasshopper push-up. All right, take it over. Up and under. Up and over. Up, under, up. Let's talk modifiers. It's quite possible that your chest has had enough of this workout. Here's what you're doing. You're going into flip dog and you're giving me a side plank with leg extension. Flip dog, no push-up. Side plank, leg extension, no push-up. This is it, guys. Cross under one more time and hold. Beautiful, everyone. From the top. All right, opposite leg, doing the work here. Plant that foot, extend the leg. Everyone ready? Deep breath. Lower it down to the ground. Find the ground and push. Catch yourself, balance. Then lower. Roll and push. And then remember, do not lower back down to the ground until you have stabilized the body. Just one more, slow lower. Roll it back, drive it up, hop it out. Beautiful. Flip it around, let's finish that quad off. Same leg working now, single leg. Ready guys? Squat down, walk it out, lock it out. Walk it back, plant the foot, butt is down. Hop it out, how we doing? How we feel? That's right. Beautiful, watch my girl, she locks that plank out all the way. She walks till that heel is planted and drives it up. See how Christy stabilizes before she squats back down to the ground. This is it guys, last big hop for me. And up. Okay, last set, scorpion grasshopper. Back down to the ground, here we go. Opposite leg. You guys ready? Okay. Right leg flipping, deep breath and up and over. Down and across. Plant it. If you want to see ugly, I think Jason will show. Ah, oh, that's my boy. Beautiful, sweetie. You float the inside leg. That's ugly. So if there's more, instead of stabilizing with the leg, float it in the sky. Last time, guys. Last one. Reach it under, dig in, reach it under, and up. Okay, whole stretch. Everybody's in bear, don't go anywhere. We're in bear, bear kicks. Right leg out, go. So what we're doing is we're on our hands and knees, okay? Knees an inch off the ground. Everything is shoulder and hip width apart, and you're rotating the torso 
back to center. Loading the leg and back to center. Hold on to it. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two, and one. Ninja jump burpees. Everybody on the knees now. Kenta, show them how it's done. Count through the beats, please. We're gonna start out with the hands on the ground. Do it. You're gonna hop up one. Onto the feet. Hop up two. Hands down three, lower all the way down four. Hop back up five. One. Perfect. Two, three, four. Five. Notice Chris is doing these without placing the hands on the ground. He's using all ab strength to pull those knees up. He comes down, drives up from there. Hits the ground, presses. Up, push, down. Last time, guys, hit the ground, hold. Oh, bear kicks. Take it back down. Opposite leg, everyone ready. Deep breath, take it over. Out, 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 out. You're gonna feel this and those obliques are gonna light on fire. You only have a minute left after this cardio set. Stay with me, 10 seconds. Now Jamie is not really modifying. There is no modifier here, I guess. So stay with it for three, two, one. Pause, ninja jump burpees. Is everybody ready? All right, deep breath. In three, two, go. Up, down, drop. Go at your own pace. You do as many as you can in this 30 seconds. As many as you can. Say one more. One more. Go. Plant it. Beautiful, everybody. Recover in an extended plank. So, walk out. Okay. Hold. 30 seconds. Get as long as you can and breathe. Let the heart rate come down. The farther you go, the harder it is. This is actually supposed to be the easy part. How you guys feel? How do you feel? You got this. For three, two, and one. Now, come on to your forms. Dipping ab holds. Ready, guys? Take it over. Tap, center, tap, center, tap, center. Elbows right under the shoulders, staying on the ground. Feet stack and pivot. Feet stack and pivot. This should kill. If it's not killing, you're not doing it right. Oh, God. Hold on. Let's say five reps. Let's say four reps. Give me that full range of motion. Do not hold back on me. Come on, two more. Come on, one more. Oh, beautiful job, everybody. Unbelievable work. And that is the hell we call workout seven. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take us through a quick stretch. We're all right here. Let's lunge forward, okay? Grab that foot with the opposite hand and push the hips up and in front of you. If you're losing your balance, you can balance with the ground or on your knee. Stretch out that quad and that hip flexor. If you have more, reach up. And release. Switch legs, guys. Take it up. Grab that foot. Push the hips out in front of you. And if you have more, reach up and over. If you're losing your balance, plant the hand. Drive those hips up, get those hip flexors. Hold for just a beat. Now I want everybody to lay back on the ground and put your hands directly underneath the elbows. Relax the neck and give me a little ab stretch. And if you have more, put those hands out in front of you and straighten them. Can we feel that? Doesn't that feel lovely? <laughs> okay, one more second, deep breath in. Look up to the sky and big exhale, fold it down to the ground. Let's stand up, everybody. All right, we're gonna do a quick shoulder try chest. You know this by now. Let's hug it out for four, three, two, and we're gonna grab the right arm, 
Look over the shoulder. Float it back, hit those tries. Rock it over to the side, hit the obliques and intercostals. And chest stretch, reach back behind you, pull it out. Other side, opposite arm, four hugs. One, stretch that chest, two, stretch it out, three, and grab it on four. Look over that shoulder. Rock that tricep, elbow back. Reach for the shoulder blades. Bicep by the ear, give me a nice, easy oblique stretch. Hands back, hit that chest for me. Just about there, pull through it. And release it. Unbelievable job. That is by far one of the hardest workouts I have ever seen. Nah, that's pretty hard, ever. Let's bring it in, guys. Beautiful work, everybody. Good job. Stay with it. And <laughs> we really look forward to seeing you tomorrow.